Now at 70, former UW coach and player honored at the Cole Center after overcoming adversity from a tragic car accident. The details on the ceremony are coming up. Plus, a hair salon is teaching students how to be good corporate citizens in an effort to help kids impacted by cancer. Good morning, and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings on this new hour. I'm Kyle Pazorski here with you on this Sunday. Let's begin this new hour by taking a look outside for our first look at the Wisconsin State Capitol building this morning. Near record-breaking warmth today is what our first warm weather team is saying. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano is standing by with what you need to know. Good morning, Jacob. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. You know, it is a little cloudy right now, but we are going to see a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. Maybe not quite as much sunshine as yesterday, but we are going to see those temperatures warmer. However, it is going to be a bit windy. So looking at the current temperatures, very mild for this time of the day, this time of the year. Uh, these are pretty close. These are warmer than the average high temperature for this time of year. And this is the time of day we normally see the lowest temperatures. So incredibly mild conditions. And even on top of yesterday, which was a very comfortable day, we're still seeing temperatures over 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. So that shows you just how mild it is right now and how mild it will be. Now looking at the current wind speeds, we are all already starting to see some gusty winds. Wind speeds are up to 20, even 23 miles per hour in Mineral Point. So these are actually going to get worse. So it is going to be a pretty windy day, but I feel like a lot of people will take the temperatures. Now, looking at the fire weather bulletins, there is an elevated fire risk due to the windy conditions and the warmer temperatures with uh, a red flag warning to the southwest of our area. Not necessarily for our area, but that doesn't mean we don't have that elevated fire risk. Now, I'll talk more in detail about our next chance of rain and show you just how warm temperatures we'll get today coming up a little bit later. Jacob, thank you. We'll check back in just a bit. Nearly five years ago, a tragedy struck the Wisconsin Badger community when assistant coach and former UW basketball player Howard Moore was involved in a serious car accident that left him severely injured and took the lives of his wife and daughter. On Saturday, he came back home to the Cole Center being honored for the example he continues to be. I still can't wait for the day when he can come back to Cole Center for a game. And that day came to pass as the Cole Center welcomed back Howard Moore for his first public appearance there since 2019, after a tragic car incident left him injured and took the lives of his wife and daughter. I think from a national's perspective, not everybody in the world has a chance to see the type of person that Howard is and the type of strength that he has to overcome this uh, situation that he's going through. And Coach Guard says he can see more has come a long way. Hey, he knew where he was. I know that. He knew where he was. He gave me a big smile when I saw him and prior to the game and get, squeezed me so tight. He's gotten stronger. He squeezed me really tight. And today's support for more shows for many. This is all deeper than basketball. It's not just sports. It's beyond that. You know, it's a brotherhood. It's a family. So that's why I love Wearing this Badger jersey means more than just wearing, playing basketball, you know, just playing the sport. So, and I'm really proud to be a Badger. We'll always be proud to be a Badger. That was News 3 Now is Jalen Banks reporting. UW Athletics says that when the new men's basketball offices are completed, they will be named in Moore's honor. Now to some other news making headlines this morning. We start overseas with several United States officials saying the U.S. has begun airdropping humanitarian aid into Gaza. According to one, a total of 66 bundles were dropped from three U.S. C-130 transport planes Saturday. The bundles contained 38,000 meals, but no water or medical supplies. President Biden announced on Friday that the U.S. would begin the airdrop soon after saying that, quote, nowhere nearly enough aid is entering Gaza. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden will be in, in Wisconsin today. She'll fly into Milwaukee after, before heading rather to Waukesha, where she's expected to speak at a campaign event seeking to mobilize women voters. She was just in Wisconsin two weeks ago visiting Green Bay to tour, uh, tout the Biden administration's focus on economic growth. The First Lady's visit Sunday will come three days before Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to visit Madison on Wednesday. And new details have been shared following a shooting which left a person dead in Janesville on Friday. Authorities say there was an armed standoff at the 1200 block of North Parker Drive. The Wisconsin Department of Justice, which is now investigating, says an armed person refused to leave a home, trapping two other people inside who were unable to leave. An officer fired at the armed person who died at the scene from their injuries. No officers were injured. However, one who fired the gun is now on administrative leave. 
A Wisconsin hair salon used as a training ground for students is now teaching them more than just the basics of styling hair. They're also learning how to be good corporate citizens in an effort to help kids impacted by cancer. Noah Cornelius reports. Trilogy Salon and Spa is looking out for the kids. The business, an arm of Fox Valley Tech's cosmetology program, held a hair donation drive benefiting the charity Children with Hair Loss. But for Trilogy, it's bigger than them. They are donating each lock of hair to the Long Hairs, a group which will put on the Great Cut event in San Diego in an attempt to break the record for most hair donated by weight. Trilogy instructor Don Berna Donnelly highlighted the importance of the effort beyond the record attempt. Cancer has touched many, almost all of our lives. Many people have lost loved ones to cancer. So to do a donation to children with hair loss is a really amazing thing for these students to be involved. Which is why every lock matters. That's Nora Cornelius reporting. Right now, the world record for most hair donated is 339 pounds. Let's take another live look now outside. This is going to be the Upper Mississippi National Fish and Wildlife Refuge near Onalaska. Good morning to everyone tuning in up there in the Cooley region. Thanks for joining us. Um, the Wildlife Refuge celebrated their 100th anniversary yesterday in Sparta, honoring the past and looking to the future. We're an incredibly important breeding place for migratory birds. There's more than 290 species of birds that move throughout the refuge across the year. In addition to bird species, it's also an important place for fur-bearing animals, for uh, other game species, uh, and for an incredibly diverse variety of plants and animals. If you would like to get involved with the refuge, there are links to sign up at news8000.com. And staying in the Cooley region, tomorrow will be the first day your voice can be heard on the search for UW Lacrosse's new chancellor. The campus and community forums to meet the three semifinalists will be held from 1.30 to 2.30, Monday through Wednesday. Tomorrow you can meet James Beebe, Tuesday Christopher Olson, and Wednesday Betsy Morgan. Saturday was Read Across America Day, and to mark it, a pair of therapy dogs are getting their moment in the spotlight, helping kids who are learning to read. CBS's E. Tai Hood has a story. A library is traditionally a quiet place, so bringing a dog inside would definitely be barking up the wrong tree. However, here at the Mill Valley Branch, just north of San Francisco, seeing two-year-old golden retrievers, Kona and Sophie, doesn't seem to give anyone pause. Oh, no. Two veteran therapy dogs, Kona and Sophie, are here to lend an ear. He took over all the little castles. As part of a program called Share a Book, where fur meets fiction, and kids can follow the scent of adventure by reading to pooches. It is a great day on the farm, Biscuit. 11-year-old Sonny Chambliss is a diehard reader, but every now and then, she gets a little shy. It's like you can read without a care in your mind. It's pretty amazing. The idea, says Lisa Block of the local Humane Society, is to provide a non-judgment zone to help kids ease some of those reading jitters. Dogs really relax us. They even lower our blood pressure. So for anybody really, but especially kids who are maybe struggling with reading, doing it to a dog is just, it feels good. You found a little llama biscuit. In fact, researchers at UC Davis found that kids who read to dogs for 15 to 20 minutes a week saw 30% improvement in reading fluency. Tony Souza is an educator and the library assistant. She says not only does reading to dogs improve skills, it creates a positive association with libraries in general. Children, once they've read to the dogs once, want to come back again and again. Woof, woof. Getting kids to fall in love with books <laughs> by unleashing their confidence. <laughs> Itai Hod, CBS News, Mill Valley, California. Time now is 7.09. Still ahead, we go out west with a look at the warmers rather winter storms affecting millions. And let's take a live look outside. Uh, no snow here. Jacob has another check of the forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. It's the leap year sale at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Find deep discounts on our best mattresses, like the queen-sized Buena Vista Firm, now only $479.99, plus no interest until 2029. But hurry, the leap year sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. 
It's here. Wisconsin's newest and most exclusive sports show. Wisconsin Huddle. It's more than just highlights. It's more than X's and O's. It's a dynamic 30-minute weekly special produced for the diehard fans of Wisconsin Athletics. Embark on an exclusive journey into the lives of some of UW's top athletes as we offer an inside look into their world. Watch Wisconsin Huddle Friday nights at 6.30. Brought to you by Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Marlene is proud to celebrate 120 years as a family-owned and operated lumber yard in Wisconsin. Throughout the years, Marlene Lumber and Homeworks has expanded its product lines to include cabinetry, windows, doors, and much more. Our showrooms in Janesville and Madison are state-of-the-art. They're ready for you to see the many ways your building or remodeling vision can come to reality with the help of our in-house designers. Marlene Lumber and Homeworks, for all your building and remodeling needs. Marlene.com, celebrating 120 years. Many families have said to me, I didn't know what I didn't know about the process of having a child with special health care needs. You don't know what questions to ask. If I had a toll-free number to call, I think that would have helped. Wisconsin Wayfinder is a great resource. It's one place to find out about all the information that you need. Wisconsin Wayfinder Children's Resource Network, connecting families to the special health care resources their children need. So, all of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at U.S. Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See? $830 off any phone at U.S. Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom. Chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000. But now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy-to-use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99. But only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-617-3809. It's the Leap Year sale at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Find deep discounts on our best mattresses, like the queen-sized Buena Vista Firm, now only $479.99, plus no interest until 2029. But hurry, the Leap Year sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know. It's going to be mild but windy today. I've been talking about it all morning, and then we're going to see those showers and storms possible tomorrow, especially during those afternoon hours with cooler temperatures, but still above average after the rain clears out. So here's a look at today's forecast. Highs will be near 70 for a lot of our area. I would definitely encourage people to get out and enjoy the weather. Just maybe hold on to your hats because it obviously is going to be a bit windy. And here's a look at that wind gust forecast. We can see those wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour for our entire region, even you folks way up north in Eau Claire. So it is going to be a windy one, but the winds are going to calm down throughout the night. Still might be a bit breezy during the evening, but by tomorrow morning, they are going to be calmer before the winds maybe pick back up uh, during the afternoon and evening on Monday as we are going to see that rain move into our area. So here's a look at the severe weather outlook for tomorrow. We likely aren't going to see a ton of it, but I do have to point out that there's a marginal risk for far southern green and rock counties and also to the south of Wisconsin in Illinois. So there is a very small chance we see a severe thunderstorm to the south of Madison, but if there is a warning, it will likely be on the lower criteria of severe weather. So uh, there's not too much to be concerned about. So looking at the rainfall forecast, could see a few showers during this evening, but for the most part, a lot of our area will remain dry, but don't be surprised if you see a passing shower. Tomorrow, though, that's when we're going to see more precipitation. And also take a look at these temperatures. 57 in Madison, 66 in Janesville, 47 in La Crosse. So there's going to be a pretty wide range of temperatures during the afternoon tomorrow. But the constant is that pretty much our entire area will see that rain. And the best chance to see the heavy rain in the southern portion of the state will be during the evening, kind of in the early afternoon for you folks up north in La Crosse. That's where the heaviest rain will occur there. And by the afternoon, or by the evening rather, uh, the further north and west you're located, the less likely you will see the rain at that time and our entire area should be dry by Tuesday. Total rainfall will be around a half, a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an, 
quarters of an inch. Maybe a few areas could see isolated amounts higher for those that see the thunderstorm. So here's a look at the high temperatures for tomorrow. Like I mentioned, a pretty wide range as will be in the 60s in Janesville, but 40s for you folks in La Crosse. Again, still going to be warm enough to see mostly rain. Maybe a few snowflakes will mix in very far north, uh, kind of towards Eau Claire, but for the most part, we'll see mostly rain. So looking at the next 10 days, uh, La Crosse will see temperatures in the 50s for the middle of the week and then upper 40s for the weekend, 50s and then possibly 60s again by the time we get to next Tuesday. For Madison, pretty similar. Cooler by the time we get to the middle of the week, but still above average for this time of the year. Highs will be around 50 and then we'll be in the 40s for the weekend. Still a little above average, but closer to it as we do have another chance of rain, maybe some snow on the back end of that system and then things will warm back up by the start of the following week. All right, Jacob, thank you. Now to more news, the 52nd running of the Iditarod dog sled race began with a ceremonial start in downtown Anchorage on Saturday. Hundreds of spectators braved near zero temperatures to watch the 38 mushers and dog sled teams charge out of the sh starting chute. Many of the spectators and competitors say it's a bucket list type of event. Uh, we came up here six years ago to visit a friend who lives at, down in Homer. Uh, we found out a little bit about the Iditarod, and we put it on our bucket list, said we have to come see it. So here we are six years later. This year's course is expected to cover nearly 1,000 miles from Anchorage to Nome. Out west, a monster winter storm continues to pound tens of millions of people across at least eight states. California and Nevada are seeing the worst of it. CBS's Carter Evans is in California with the latest. California's most powerful blizzard this year is hammering Lake Tahoe and other Sierra Nevada communities. Busy highways and roads shut down due to dangerous whiteout conditions. Couldn't even see the road. There's like no road to see. A Union Pacific plow train is busy cleaning out tons of snow, joining the heavy duty plows working around the clock. The National Weather Service says more than half a million people are under a blizzard warning. Many are hunkering down, stocking up on batteries and lanterns. We're about to go home and not leave for the next couple days. <laughs> Several ski resorts, including Sugar Bowl, are also off limits, shut down because of avalanche danger. Residents nearby are now bracing for the next round. I do expect uh, with the high winds that the power will go out this weekend. Turns out the wind from this blizzard is having a big impact on snow levels. Those gusty high level winds are breaking apart snowflakes, according to the lead scientist at the Berkeley Snow Lab. Now, as a result, those snowflakes are smaller. When they get down to the ground, they pack together tighter. And in some areas, snow levels might be a little lower than predicted. Carter Evans, CBS News, Truckee, California. Blizzard warnings for the Sierra went into effect Thursday morning with snow and high winds. The warning is set to expire today at roughly 10 a.m. local time. Coming up next here on Weekend Mornings, Jacob has a quick check at today's forecast. Plus, we got some sports news. We're back in a moment. Jalen Banks, News 3 Now at 6 and 10, weekends moving forward. Life's better when you're under our roof. Guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. We waited four years to roll out savings this big. It's the Leap Year Sale at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Shop today and find deep discounts on our best mattresses, like the Queen Size Buena Vista Firm, now only $479.99. Score a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic, or check out the Summit Queen, easy on the wallet for only $332.49. Plus, score no interest financing until 2029. But hurry, the Leap Year Sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome.
For over 20 years, Top Hat has partnered with Cozy Heat to bring our customers fantastic fireplaces. Cozy Heat is a family-owned business offering a complete line of traditional and contemporary fireplaces with stylish accessories to complement any decor. Cozy prides itself on making the most realistic flame patterns and log sets. Adding a fireplace is one of the best ways to increase the value of your home. Come visit our friendly showrooms in Madison and Baraboo to see what Cozy Heat and Top Hat can do for you. Your logo can identify your company, inspire your customers, and energize your team. We're 4imprint, and we can help your logo create moments that matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. At no fault of their own during the cold, thousands of Wisconsin residents in your community make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. On March 13th, please join News 3 Now and support a day of warmth. Benefiting the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. 95 cents of every dollar donated is used to help those in crisis. Give the gift of warmth. For more information, visit kwwf.org slash donate. A day of warmth. Sponsored by Viridian Homes and Melio Sandwiches. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because we can help you protect your joy, your legacy, and your dreams. American Family Insurance. Get a quilt and find an agent at amfam.com. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. So here's a look at the precipitation chances over the next seven days. It looks like we are going to see another round of precipitation by the time we get to the end of the week, uh, Thursday night through early Saturday. But the middle of the week does look to be dry. And obviously I've been talking about that likelihood of rainfall uh, for tomorrow. Now, as we look at the 8 to 14 day precipitation outlook, rainfall does look to increase, uh, especially by the time we get towards the end of March. That's when we're going to get into kind of the wet season where we typically see a lot of uh, rainfall. And with the temperatures remaining above average, here's a look at the temperature outlook during that same time frame. My guess is we're mostly going to see rainfall. Now with the system towards the end of this week, we could see some snowfall on the back end of that system, but certainly not going to see accumulation. But the trend of colder temperatures to the west and warmer temperatures for our area and the east, that looks to continue as we head towards the middle of March, and there's really no sign of it coming to an end. Jacob, thank you. Now to some news out of the Vatican this morning. Pope Francis, who has been suffering from influenza, said he delegated the reading of a speech at a ceremony on Saturday to an aide because he was unable to read it due to bronchitis. The speech was for the opening ceremony of the Judicial Year of the Vatican Tribunal. Afterwards, the Pope was able to meet German Chancellor Olaf Scholz during an audience at the Vatican. Francis, who is 87, has had a number of health issues recently. On Wednesday, he made a brief trip to a Roman hospital for a checkup after he missed reading at his weekly audience, saying he had, quote, a bit of cold. Now to news on sports benefit, news on how sports benefit kids and the surprising health risks associated with ultra processed food. Here's a look at some of the week's top health stories. Alcohol related deaths are on the rise in the United States. The CDC says there were about 178,000 deaths from excessive alcohol use from 2020 through 2021. That's a 29% increase from just five years earlier. The report also found more men die from excessive alcohol use than women, but women are starting to close the gap. Ultra-processed food may have even more health risks than you realize. Data published in the BMJ showed foods like packaged baked goods, sugary cereals, and other ready-to-eat products are associated with increased risk of 32 health problems, including cancer, heart and lung conditions, and mental health disorders. Eating more ultra-processed food was also associated with a 21% higher risk of death from any cause. And more kids playing sports could save the U.S. $80 billion a year in health care costs. A study published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine found playing sports didn't just improve kids' physical health, but it also reduced anxiety and depression. Youth sports participation nationwide declined during and after the pandemic. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. 
Now to news and sports, it wasn't too long ago when Wisconsin was 8-1 in conference play, the best in the Big Ten. Since then, they're 2-6. The Badgers needed to bounce back against number 13 Illinois on Saturday. The team honored Badger great Howard Moore, and it brought a barrel of energy to the Kohl Center. We pick things up in the second half. This one was electric from the tip-off. Tyler Wall throws a lob to A.J. Storr. And what a play that was. Wisconsin ties it up 59 apiece. And then later in the second half, Badgers trailing with six minutes to go. And look at the hustle and grip from Bucky. The ball finds John Blackwell, who cans the three. And we've got a tie ball game, 68 each. But ultimately, Marcus Damask was too much for Wisconsin. The Wapan native, who didn't get offered by Bucky out of high school, scored a game-high 31 points, including these buckets. And this gives the Illinois their seventh straight win over Wisconsin. 91-83 is your final. The Badgers are now 2-7 and seven in their last nine, with Chucky Hepburn weighing in on what the solution needs to be. We're in control of our own destiny, so, you know, we can go downhill from here or we can only go up here from here. You know, we're definitely going to show, we're, we've shown some growth, you know, um, we battled, they, made, they, they made their runs and we came back and responded, but, you know, it was just that last run we couldn't respond to, so, you know, it's just a matter of fact of how are we going to finish games out, and we got to figure it out very quick or else, like I said, last post-game interview is going to be a quick march for us. In the NBA now, where LeBron James has officially made history, becoming the first player to score 40,000 points. It came during the second quarter of the uh, Denver Nuggets-Lakers game. Uh, James made a spinning left-handed layoff and became the first NBA player to ever reach the 40K scoring mark. James had 26 points in the game on way to a Lakers loss following 124 to 114. You know, being the first player to do something is, is pretty cool in this league because you just know the history, you know the greats that's come through the leagues, and then you see some of the greats on the floor tonight. It was just great to compete versus that. So, um, but for me, the main thing is always the main thing, and that's to win. And I hate it that you know had to happen in, in, a, in, a, in a defeat, especially versus a team that you know plays extremely well basketball. And we played some good basketball tonight, but wasn't able to close it out. So, last season, James became the NBA's all-time leading scorer when he passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who himself racked up 38,387 points in his illustrious career. And more history being made yesterday at the NFL Combine. Wide receiver Xavier Worthy, who played at Texas, set a Combine record when he ran a 4.21 40-yard dash. He beat the record of Washington wide receiver John Ross's 4.22 at the 2017 Combine. That's it for our look at sports. There's still a half hour news ahead here on Weekend Mornings. Next, we're going to run through the morning's top stories. We'll be right back. It's A1 Furniture's Truckload Mattress Blowout. Queen Luxury Fur Mattress, only $299. Queen Eurotop, $399. Queen Jumbo Plush or Firm, just $499. All sizes available during this once-a-year mattress event, only at Madison's locally owned A1 Furniture. This year, I got serious about my taxes. I met with the TurboTax expert because I had two full-time jobs. Lawyering and... Liamming. All on my own. Count on me, Mia. I'll file your taxes for you with 100% accuracy guaranteed. I'm too tired to smile. Make your moves count. Intuit TurboTax. Let a full-service expert do your taxes for you as soon as today. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tear Via. Backyard living season is here. Coolview has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let Coolview show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from Coolview. 
This is a real person seeking a solution to a real problem. Hi, fine, how are you? Welcome to the Good Feet store. How can I help? I have plantar fasciitis. My knees hurt, my hips hurt. Then she was personally fit with Good Feet Arch Supports. I don't feel any pain anywhere. Good. Seriously, no really? pain in my knees, my hips, nothing. This is amazing. I'm I don't want to take them off. It just feels like I'm in heaven. Oh, you're a blessing in disguise. Try them for yourself with a free art support fitting at the Good Feet store. Get instant cash back at A1 Furniture. Save $50 off every $500 you spend, plus incredible in-store only deals. Your choice, two-piece sofa and love seat or sectional, just $10.99, and get the recliner free. Only at Madison's locally owned A1 Furniture. Have a great night and do something good. I started saying it because I was just so tired of all the bad news in the world. People are out there doing great things. I've experienced it. And believe me, it can change your day. Tell us about the good you see. Go to Channel 3000 or post it using the hashtag do something good. I'll share your stories on News 3 Now. Our community is full of wonderful giving people. Let's celebrate them together. Let's do something good. It's not just sports, it's beyond that. You know, it's a brotherhood. Right now at 7.30, a former UW coach and player honored at the Cole Center after overcoming adversity from a traffic car accident. Plus, back in Wisconsin, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden is ahead to Milwaukee and Waukesha today, hoping to get women to the polls in this year's election. And we could be seeing record warmth today. I'll talk about just how warm it could get coming up. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings on this new half hour. I'm Kyle Pazorski. It is Sunday, March 3rd. Let's begin this hour, half hour rather, by taking a look outside. Jacob is in for what the day ahead will bring us. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning. No celebrity birthdays today? Couldn't I, I find couldn't any? find any, honestly. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, honestly, though, today is going to be a wonderful day for a lot of people considering the temperatures. Now, it will be a little bit windy, but I feel like a lot of people will take the wind considering just how warm it is going to be. Now, looking at the current temperatures, mostly in the middle to upper 40s. Now, these temperatures are warmer than the average high that we normally see this time of year, and this is the time of day that we normally see the lowest temperature. So that shows you just how mild it is and compared to yesterday, which was a very mild day, we're still 10 to 20 degrees above what we were this time yesterday morning. So it's going to be very mild, but unfortunately, the one downside is it is going to be a bit windy. And right now we're already seeing wind speeds up to 20 miles per hour, and the winds are only going to get worse throughout the afternoon. Now with the warm temperatures and the wind, there also is an elevated fire risk. There's a red flag warning in effect to the southwestern, uh, southwest of Wisconsin, not in Wisconsin, but that doesn't mean we don't have that elevated fire risk. So uh, just be uh, just be careful if you uh, plan to spend time outside. And I assume a lot of people will because here's a look at the forecast. Highs will be near 70. We'll see winds up to around 20 miles per hour. We also are going to see some sunshine later in the day, but we'll see more clouds today compared to yesterday. And for Madison, very similar. We'll see highs in the upper 60s, possibly lower 70s. The record high for today is 70, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hit that. Wind speeds, though, are going to be pretty breezy, up to 20 miles per hour. But I'll talk more in detail about just how, uh, just how um, much rain we could see tomorrow coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. It was five years ago when tragedy struck the Wisconsin Badger family former assistant coach Howard Moore involved in a car wreck which killed his wife and daughter. Moore made his first visit back to UW on Saturday, receiving a standing ovation from Badger Faithful at the Cole Center. Former Badger Michael Finley spoke on Howard's perseverance and what he's been able to overcome. Not everybody in the world has a chance to see the type of person that Howard is and the type of strength that he has to overcome this uh, situation that he's going through. Moore was seriously injured in the accident, being wheeled to midcourt by former teammate Rashard Griffith. Moore played in 47 games for the Badgers from 1990 to 95, including 21 appearances as a senior. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden will be in Wisconsin today looking at the Biden administration's economic agenda. Last night, she visited Tucson, Arizona, hoping to mobilize women voters. I thought of the countless women who stood up for that freedom and the men who fought beside them. Everyone who organized for change and voted for justice. And I thought about the generation who is inheriting our legacy and the world we're shaping for them. The First Lady also commented on former President Trump saying he is a, quote, danger to women and their families. 
And now we're going to take a live look here at Milwaukee this morning. The First Lady's return to the state today is part of an effort to drive Wisconsin women to the polls. Her tour to battleground states like Arizona, Wisconsin, and Nevada is meant to coincide with the start of Women's History Month. This will mark Dr. Biden's second visit to Wisconsin in less than two months. She stopped in Green Bay on February 16th. Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to visit Madison this Wednesday. Some more local news now. People of a variety of fandoms converged Saturday at the Wisconsin Masonic Center in Madison for the city's first ever Nerd Made Festival. The event was organized by the Madison Makers Market and featured dozens of vendors selling all kinds of decorated goods, including stickers, art, embroideries, comic books, and ceramics. Well, this event is really about looking for a way to celebrate all the different ways in which people can and are nerdy about different things. You know, I think there's a common misconception that nerd means, you know, we're into anime or comic books or something. The event also features cosplay and music for visitors to take part in and enjoy. And the 43rd annual freeze for food brought runners together for a good cause. The races took place near Lake Wingra, raising money for the organization Open Doors for Refugees. The group provides food to local refugees in need. Organizers say the charitable outcome is a big reason why people come out to participate. It's important to me because you know I'm, I'm very fortunate to attend this great university in this amazing city and have um, a bunch of resources available uh, like food. So uh, raising money in any way possible, whether that be running or just uh, simply doing charity work is um, it, it just feels really empowering to me. Open Doors for Refugees has received donations from this event in each of the past eight times it was held. According to the event organizers, they raised over $16,000 last year. Up north in the Cooley region, Representative Derek Van Orden hosted a roundtable with Cooley Veterans Coalition board members. The meeting discussed educational benefits for veterans with a handful of other topics. One of the community, one with the community care system, which is when the VA health care system can accommodate a veteran, allowing them to get the health care they need. He stressed the importance for allowing veterans to earn the benefits they deserve by serving our nation and is aiming to get the system for travel pay up and running again. And I want to get the system re-implemented that the VA, unfortunately, uh, you know, let slide during the COVID pandemic. That's a big deal. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're on a fixed income, you're talking about $50 or $60, especially in this economy, that's a significant amount of money. Another issue Van Orden discussed was medical marijuana use for veterans, stating that it should have never been illegal to begin with. And speaking of the Cooley region, tomorrow will be the first day your voice can be heard on the search for UW La Crosse's new chancellor. The three campus and community forums to meet the three semifinalists will be held from 1.30 to 2.30 uh, Monday through Wednesday. On Monday, you can meet with James Beebe, Thursday, Christopher Olson, and Wednesday, Betsy Morgan. Time now is 7.37. Next on Weekend Mornings, a recall alert you should know about affecting General Motors trucks. Stick with us. Teeth are amazing. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we have new financing options to help you get a new smile today, not someday. Scan the QR code or call to learn more. Go ahead and smile. A logo can do more than identify your company. It can connect in meaningful ways, energize your team, and inspire your customers. We're for Imprint, and we know your logo on the right product can create moments that matter. With 30 years of experience and thousands of products to choose from, we guarantee your order will be right the first time, on time, and for a great price. Be certain that the right moments will matter. Explore thousands of promotional products at forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Tempur-Pedic designed the Ergo Pro Smart Base to help you fall asleep more easily. It's the only Smart Base that features our exclusive soundscape mode that synchronizes a gentle massage with relaxing sounds to help you drift peacefully off to sleep. Get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. 
Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows. Because when you buy two, you get, get two, two free. free. Hurry, Champion's buy two, get two free sale is for a limited time. That's a great deal. Thanks. Call 888-4-CHAMPION or schedule your free in-home estimate online today. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, our SNAP Secure Dental Implants will help you eat and speak with confidence at a price that's affordable. So if you think you can't afford dental implants, think again. Go ahead and smile. So here's a look at the precipitation forecast throughout the day and tomorrow. Mostly dry today until we get to the evening where we could see a few passing showers, maybe even a light storm. But a lot of our area will actually remain dry this evening. But then tomorrow, rain is likely. Now the rain will be the heaviest for you folks in La Crosse during the late morning and early afternoon. And then for southern Wisconsin, the rain will be the heaviest during the evening hours. Temperatures will also be pretty up. Uh, will range pretty widely between La Crosse and uh, the southern portion of the state during the afternoon, but they will balance out as we head towards tomorrow or sorry, Tuesday. And then also by Tuesday, we are going to be dry. So looking at the full uh, precipitation forecast, we'll see around a quarter of an inch to maybe up to three quarters of an inch, but we also could see some isolated amounts higher for those that see the thunderstorms. But in general, uh, La Crosse expect the heaviest rain in the early afternoon and southern Wisconsin expect the heaviest rain during the evening. All right, Jacob, thank you. And now we're going to take a look at our traffic this morning out here in Madison. This is the Beltline looking at 1218 at West Broadway. Traffic's moving just fine this morning as usual on a Sunday morning. And like Jacob said, I mean, really today should be a good one to get outside. Just again, you know, maybe wear a hat just to enjoy this seasonally warm weather, especially considering the alternatives to the mounds of snow. All right, now we got a consumer alert you should know about. General Motors is recalling nearly 820,000 pickup trucks because of a potential safety concern with the vehicle's tailgates. GM says the issue surrounds the electronic latch mechanism used to open the gate of some Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra truck beds. The automaker says if water gets into the tailgate, the mechanism used to keep it closed might short circuit, causing the gate to accidentally open while the vehicle is parked. The pickup trucks involved include the 2020 to 2024 model years. General Motors has received more than 130 complaints about the problem, causing at least one injury. And some sticker shock for airline passengers. Experts say passengers are shelling out more bucks to check their baggage. Starting later this month, United Airlines will charge passengers 80 bucks to check one bag for a round trip flight. It's a move being done by several large airlines, including American, JetBlue and Alaska which have all recently raised prices for checked bags. Well, still ahead, Andrew has a full check at Saturday's News and Sports. And let's take another live look outside at the State Capitol building. Jacob will have your full forecast after the break. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. We waited four years to roll out savings this big. It's the Leap Year Sale at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Shop today and find deep discounts on our best mattresses, like the Queen Size Buena Vista Firm, now only $479.99. Score a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic, or check out the Summit Queen, easy on the wallet for only $332.49. Plus, score no interest financing until 2029. But hurry, the Leap Year Sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday.
Get an 11% rebate on everything now at Menards. Menards is your plumbing headquarters. We carry everything you need to transform your bathroom. We've got a great selection of lighting, vanities, hardware, and bathroom accessories. Get hot water when you need it with a new Richmond water heater. This hybrid heat pump water heater is up to four times more efficient than a standard electric water heater, saving you money. Get it for $14.49.98 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. At no fault of their own during the cold, thousands of Wisconsin residents in your community make the difficult choice between eating or heating their home. On March 13th, please join News 3 Now and support a day of warmth. Benefiting the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. 95 cents of every dollar donated is used to help those in crisis. Give the gift of warmth. For more information, visit kwwf.org slash donate. A day of warmth. Sponsored by Viridian Homes and Melio's Sandwiches. News 3 Now and Vortex present the spirit of service. A tribute to those who've gone above and beyond in our community. Over the past few weeks, you've nominated a veteran in our community who's making a real difference. Now it's time for you to vote for the finalist. Visit channel3000.com, read their stories, and vote for the deserving finalist. The lucky winner will be announced on March 11th. The Spirit of Service Award, presented by Vortex. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brooks Night Guard. Now the Brooks Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brooks Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BrooksNightGuard.com and order yours today. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's one final look at the three things you need to know for this week. Mild but windy today with some showers and storms tomorrow. And then for the middle of the week, we'll see cooler than average temperature, sorry, cooler temperatures, but still above average with highs near 50. Now, here's a look at the forecast for today. Very nice highs near 70. A little bit windy, though. So looking at the wind gust forecast, we are going to see those winds gust up to around 40 miles per hour at times, especially during the early afternoon. It will get better as we head towards the overnight hours. You can actually see some fairly calm winds early tomorrow morning, but then the winds are going to likely pick back up as we head into the afternoon as those showers and storms move into our area. So looking at the severe weather outlook, there actually is a marginal risk to the south of Wisconsin. This also includes the far southern portions of Green and Rock County. Now, we likely aren't going to see a severe weather outbreak, but if we do see a severe thunderstorm warning, it will likely be on the lower uh, criteria of this of severe weather. So don't expect to see too much. It's certainly not much to worry about. So looking at the precipitation forecast dry during the afternoon could see a few showers this evening, but a lot of our area will stay dry as we head into the day tomorrow. That's when we're going to see some widespread showers and a few thunderstorms. Heaviest rain for you folks in La Crosse will be in the late morning and early afternoon. And and then for southern Wisconsin, that will occur during the evening hours and our entire area will see the rain clear out of our area by the time we get to Tuesday morning. So we'll see around a quarter of an inch to up to three quarters of an inch of rain. A few areas could see isolated amounts higher depending on where some of the thunderstorms pop. So we could see some locations get close to an inch of rainfall, but overall kind of around a half inch, give or take a, a few tenths. Now, as we look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this is also the big story. We're going to have a pretty wide range of temperatures, 40s for you folks in La Crosse and also to the north of uh, Madison near the Dells. Middle 50s for Madison and then middle 60s for Janesville. Now, the, the front, the warm front will be kind of right between Madison and Janesville. If it creeps up a little bit further north, we could see the Dells reach the middle 50s. So the temperatures will all depend on how far north that front gets. It looks like it will kind of get right up around Madison, maybe uh, a little bit south of that. But in general, expect cooler temperatures for you folks up north, but still very mild in the far southern portion of the state. So here's a look at the 10-day forecast for La Crosse. Temperatures, as I mentioned, a little bit cooler compared to today for the middle of the week, but still above average. 
40s by the end of the week and then 50s again by the following work week, possibly 60s next Tuesday. And for Madison, that's going to be very similar. Highs will be around 50 Tuesday through Thursday. Some rain and possibly some snow on the back end of the system Friday and Saturday as temperatures cool off a bit, but they will warm back up as we head towards next Tuesday. If you ask me, the best month of the year is March. We're in it right now, and that's because of sports. We get March Madness, high school state tournaments, and oh yeah, postseason hockey. The Wisconsin women one win away from a trip back to the WCHA final face-off semis. Just need to get past St. Thomas, and the Badgers were peppering the Tommy goalie. First period, they put 22 shots on net. One of them lit the lamp. That would be courtesy of senior captain Britta Curl. Her 20th goal of the year gives Wisconsin a 1-0 lead. And then in the second period, Badgers blew this one wide open. Lacey Eden just flips it on in to make it 2-0. Wisconsin scored four goals in the first period. They advanced to the final face-off semis with a 9-1 win. Now, as for the men, they lost their chance to win the Big Ten on Friday, but fired back last night, hosting Michigan State. And Sawyer Scholl wasted no time. A goal less than two minutes into the game for the second night in a row. The Badgers are on the board and early. And then just a few minutes later, in fact, just barely into the third minute, Wisconsin on a power play, and they make Sparty pay. Carson Bantle on the one-timer. The Badgers win their final regular season game of the year, 4-1 to the final. Next up is postseason play. Not too long ago, Wisconsin men's basketball was 8-1 in conference play, the best in the Big Ten. Since then, they're 2-6. The Badgers needed to bounce back against Illinois yesterday. 13th-ranked Illini as Howard Moore was honored, former Badger great that's gone through some really, really difficult things. This one was electric from tip-off. Houston, we have a liftoff. Tyler Wald, A.J. Store for the alley-oop, and we get a tie ball game at 59 apiece. And then later in the second half, Badgers trailing with about six minutes to go and look at the hustle and grit from Bucky. The ball finds John Blackwell who cans the three. We've got a tie ball game 68 each but ultimately Marcus Damask was just too much for Wisconsin. The Wapan native who did not get offered by Wisconsin out of high school scored a game high 31 points including these buckets. That would will his Illini to their seventh straight win over Wisconsin, 91 to 83 the final. The Badgers are two and seven in their last nine. So Chucky Hepburn, what does this team need? We're in control of our own destiny. So, you know, we can go downhill from here. Or we can only go up here from here. You know, we're definitely going to show, we're, we've shown some growth, you know, um, we battled, they made, all, they, they made their runs and we came back and responded, but, you know, there was just that last run we couldn't respond to. So, you know, it's just a matter of fact of how are we going to finish games out. And we got to figure it out very quick or else, like I said, last post-game interview is going to be a quick march for us. High school girls basketball, McFarland one went away from a return trip to state, just to have to get past West Salem. Ava Dean has been doing this for McFarland all year long, drives through the teeth of the defense to bring them within four. And then later, Haley Testelin spots up for the trifecta in the business. We call that cash money. She drains it to extend the Spartans lead, but Megan Johnson was just too much for West Salem. West Salem comes all the way back as Johnson switches a triple. She dropped a whopping 40 points as West Salem eliminates McFarland 65 to 61. Edgewood and Cuba City also punched their tickets to the state tournament while Pecatonica Argyle did the same. The fourth and final representative of our, of our region is Albany Monticello, who won a thriller over Assumption 47 45. To the Matt Fenimore looking for their third straight team state wrestling title, taking on Coleman. This one started at 285, and Evan Gratz made a statement for the Golden Eagles. He puts his man flat on his back with a second period pin. Then later, it's Colton Tollefson adding to the pin party. We'll take more. He'd win by fall, and Fenimore completes the three-peat. They dominate Coleman for the D3 title. 46 to 16 is your final. That's your morning sports fix. Have a sensational Sunday. That was funny. Yeah. That's a sick bike. Boys. Miss Sanderson? See you Monday. No way. Do you feel like America is slipping away? Our country is facing enormous challenges. Our economy, our health care, crime, and open borders. 
everything is going in the wrong direction. All Washington does is divide us and talk about who's to blame. And nothing gets done. That's not the country I know and love. I'm Eric Hovde. I'm running for the U.S. Senate. And I approve this message because I believe we need to come together and find common sense solutions to restore America. For over 20 years, Top Hat has partnered with Cozy Heat to bring our customers fantastic fireplaces. Cozy Heat is a family-owned business offering a complete line of traditional and contemporary fireplaces with stylish accessories to complement any decor. Cozy prides itself on making the most realistic flame patterns and log sets. Adding a fireplace is one of the best ways to increase the value of your home. Come visit our friendly showrooms in Madison and Baraboo to see what Cozy Heat and Top Hat can do for you. There's still time. Come in and test rest a Beautyrest Black Mattress for your chance to win a dream vacation to Hawaii. During Sleep Awareness Month at Steinhoffel's, get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash when you upgrade to a Beautyrest Black. Beautyrest Black mattresses have the most advanced cooling technology and pressure-relieving foams, giving you the best night's sleep possible. Make the connection between better health and sleep at Steinhoffel's. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Experience the Channel 3000 news app today. Enjoy a website-like layout and swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. Download the Channel 3000 news app, powered by News 3 Now. When is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're gonna... Yeah, okay, well... Hi. Monday at 6. Extreme winter conditions in January left Madison's roadways a mess. But a new solution is on the horizon, which could be better for drivers and the environment. We have to do what we need to do to try to preserve our groundwater and our, and our lakes. I'll show you how the local USDA Forest Products Laboratory developed a formula for treating roads and how it could help solve the salt problem. It prevents that bond from the snow to bonding to the pavement. Monday on News 3 Now at 6. And welcome back. We have time now for one final check of your Sunday forecast. Here's Jacob Montesano. Thanks, Kyle. Today, we're going to see very nice weather. Highs will be near 70. That's also the record high for mess, and so we'll have to keep an eye on that. We could be breaking it. And then we'll see possibly some storms later tonight, although much of our area will be dry during this evening with showers and storms likely for tomorrow. Uh, could see some heavy rain at times, and temperatures will be quite different compared to the southern portion of the state and the central portion. Highs near Madison and Janesville will be in the 50s. Janesville could get to 60s, or middle 60s rather, and then for you folks in La Crosse, highs will be near 45 to 50. As we get towards the middle of the week, we'll see dry conditions Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Highs will be near 50, so a little bit cooler compared to today, but still above average for this time of the year. For Friday and Saturday, we are expected to see some more showers. Looks like the best chance for rain will be Friday during the day, with that system possibly lingering into Saturday, and it could bring some snow on the back end of that system as the temperatures cool down into the middle 40s with overnight lows in the 20s. So Saturday and Sunday of next weekend will be a bit colder with highs in the middle 40s, but it does look like Monday and Tuesday of next week, that looks like the temperatures will begin to warm back up with highs possibly getting close to 60 again on Tuesday with possibly more rain showers. But in general, the above average temperatures look to continue as we head towards the middle portion of the March and precipitation looks to kind of be consistent with, you know, a few a system every few days. So kind of normal spring weather with a little bit above normal temperatures. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you all for watching. Have a great Sunday, folks.